Hooray! Who's ready for a little bit more one shot? Wow, that's peaking something terrible. Uh, one shot. But for completionist's sake, we are going to go back into the world of one shot. I'm just going to quickly turn that gain down a bit because it's um, looking kind of loud. Also, I don't want to be too loud because it is half one in the morning. I don't want to wake people up. Let's, let's go, Nico. Come on, let's go. Um, so I've been kind of far about the things. And as I said, for completionist's sake, I kind of want to just demonstrate some things that we might have glossed over on our previous adventure. Now, you don't get any little dream sequence or anything this time. You just get Nico waking up. It's like, whatever, I'm awake, bitch. I'm awake, ready for action. Ready to do it. Now, what's weird is, so you can go up here, and you can do this. Put your seed in here, Nico. That person said to bury the seed here. He's talking about the robot person at the, the beginning of this area. Uh, I kind of gloss over what he said before, but... Now, it's hard to imagine that it will grow into a person. Well, if it, if it is going to grow into a person, it is not seemingly going to grow into a person while we are sitting watching it. So I wonder what happens if we, like... Go back up. Anything? No, okay. Okay, we're going to try some other things. Now, what I might demonstrate here, I didn't use this at all during my original playthrough. And to be honest, I didn't really use it at all during this. Now, I thought perhaps this meant you could travel back to any part of the game we'd previously visited. It's not the case. It only allows you to kind of visit bits that you've already done. So if we go tower exterior, bam. And we now know this is the tower exterior because before, because I'm a bit clueless, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. What is it? What is it? It's just a big fucking pole, isn't it? But now... Where's old George? Old Georgie Porgy. Come here, George. So in this playthrough, I've done some things a little bit differently. Um, I've said no to a lot of Nico's questions rather than say yes. Oh, just shut up. Just, 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 just take the book. Take the book. Just take the book, George. Stop fanning about. Just take it. Just take it. Ah, Nico. Keep that in check. Keep that stomach of yours in check, because that's disgusting. Oh, we need to get outside first. Yeah, I did some things differently. Uh, I can't say it's changed a hell of a lot, if anything. I have to say the fast travel is like fucking... If you're trying to speedrun this game, it certainly changes it a lot. You can get it. Around pretty damn quick. I made that mistake every fucking time I come here. This game is apparently really stressful for my laptop because it's like, you can probably hear it. Yeah, it's like high pitched whine. Oh, no, you could just go and eat the pancakes. Come on, it's late. It's pancake time. Ah, oh, good, good. Just fucking cram them down my throat, man. Give me some more. Um, Night Margin put up some cool fan art of Nico. Well, some of it was cool. Some of it was also kind of like... Yeah. Like, what? What? But that's fine. Oh, I don't want to look at sad Nico. Come on. Just, just go on. Just, just, just go on. Good. Well then, we're going to do it. <clears throat> we're going to do it right this time. We're going to do it right by Nico. Because that's, that's what we do. So what we do, we don't fuck around. Now we're gonna go to Ritual Circle again, we're just gonna check. Nothing. Okay. I'm officially unsure about what the point of even doing that is because... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we need to fast travel later on. It seems so fucking lazy doing that, it's like... It just completely negates half the fun of the game, travelling around and taking in the environment. Good, good. We know what this says. Come on, come on. Skip. Next page, George. Come on, next page. Next page. Where's the bit about Nico blowing up the whole world? Come on. Let's get some of that going on. Let's get some Nico blowing up the whole world going on. You can do that, right? 
Yeah, you, you do, Nico. Come on, it's easy. It is, yeah, it is kind of crazy, I guess. A die? Yeah, Nico. It's a gift. Take it. We can't fast travel here because we're kind of locked into events. As soon as we try and leave, it's like blammo message boxes. I feel something moving. Okay, so we can't. We definitely can't fast travel here. So I think if we go right lots and then up, the die went quiet. Put the die away. Because we don't want to combine it with whatever the fuck you want to do. Dice and feather. Crazy combinations. You're crazy, Nico. Unhinged. You're an unhinged animal. I can't believe I've just fluked this before. I just run about randomly until it works. I really was being a bit thick, wasn't I? Well, kind of fluked it. Kind of fluked it. Back home again. No way, Nico. Just, just get to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Just get to bed. So yeah, in order to actually get playing one shot again, you have to do some funky things. Although this is on my laptop, so it kind of doesn't matter. I didn't have a save on this anyway. Uh, let's go up the lift. Oh, I didn't try fast travel. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure you can't. It wouldn't. No. Oh, Alright. Fair enough. Apparently we can't fast travel there. What you got for us? Am I? You don't know that. Waking up from a bad dream. Nico would be miserable in this world. Yeah. I guess he's okay. I guess he's okay. He's okay. I have some attachment to him. Not a huge amount. Okay. This is it, Nico. This is your big moment. Time to shine. What are we going to do? Everyone here will... I, I can't decide. He even knows what that says. What's the right thing to do? Home time, Nico. Home time. Trust my judgment. You probably couldn't see that. The window will, like... Shook around like crazy. I really should put a pronounceable name. <laughs> we'll just call him Lamppost. Lamppost? That's me. What happened? It's very dark in here. Oh, I can see a light at the end of this passage. I think I hear a voice too. Mama? I can hear her calling me. We can only move in one direction now, which is down. All I need to do is pass through this wall. I'll finally be home again. Ah, lamppost, I guess. I guess this is goodbye. Thank you for everything. Oh, it's sad. Nico's now kind of walking. Can I click on that? Ah, that was too slow. Nico walked clean off the window and down off the screen. No doubt to go and corrupt some memory. Yeah, that guy. No large. Obsessed with Hyperlight Drifter. Seems to be. I need to play that. It does look quite cool. Tangy oranges. Big shout out, Tangy oranges. Thanks for playing. Okay, we don't get any, like, dismal shit going on. Is the game just gonna show? The savior is gone. I'll hope for the world is lost. Um, can we? You should still be able to hear me. I refresh that. Okay, we're ending three. So if I try and start the game up now, I just get this shit and it just says the savior's gone. All is lost, and I get an error. Okay, well that's not particularly interesting. But if we ch quickly change this to a two, just gonna show you what happens. So if you this is what happens, I think, if you exit the game. And it is actually a little off-putting and kind of upsetting. 
to check something out. Oh, the music seems to have kind of bugged out. Or is it just glitchy? Is that an idea? Yeah, it is glitchy. Okay. Poor Nico. Click on start. I guess... Because this is actually pretty... Compared to the rest of the theme of the game and stuff, this is kind of off-putting and dark, almost completely disconnected from the rest of it. Which is kind of cool, but at the same time it's kind of odd. I mean, I never encountered this during my playthrough at all. Um, so I guess you actually have to quit and willingly kill Nico to, to make this happen. There's nothing you can do. Just like the... <laughs> I guess you could say this is just like the good ending, so... If you just want to get the good ending, then just uh, kill Nico. You can get some unnerving, creepy music. Or you can just edit your registry. Just can shove a two in there. We You've been laughing. So, um, that's all I really wanted to do. A little bit more one shot, just for complete coverage. I still don't understand what the point of the seed thing was. Um, Tangy Oranges, your daughter, is not speaking to me in a, in, a, in a way she didn't want to regrow in front of me. Maybe I'm missing something. If uh, you know, put it in the comments. I'm happy to do a bit more one shot because I, I do really enjoy this game. If there's a little bit more to it, I'm happy to squeeze it out. Like, uh, squeezing juice out of an orange. Yes. Okay, well on that, um, uncomfortable note. Thanks for watching everybody.